what's up goddess gang today we are back with another video <laughs> and today it's a little different i'm actually um i'm filming horizontally and i'm just gonna film a certain portion of the video like this because i don't have anything set up and ready and i know the camera is here i have the front cam on so i can be vain and see myself or whatever and i have a nose done oh my goodness i haven't had nose this long. i don't know how to act but yeah i have my nails done. and my boyfriend he is such a handsome boss because he guessed the theme of my nails and I don't know how well y'all can see them. I'll try to put them on there as best as I can for now. <laughs> but the theme or the inspiration was a baby girl theme because my boyfriend dragged me along to work with him. Luckily, I got paid and I got compensated well. Um, well, my minimum at bare minimum for him and for me because it was just you know it was a fun time and it was cool to um get paid just to be with my boyfriend all day at work um and I did a little bit of work not a lot of heavy labor so that was good nothing I couldn't do under any circumstances and so that's why unfortunately I have yet to have any videos this week that have been uploaded however i have plenty that are filmed i just haven't done the voiceovers for them and um right now you guys can see it's friday may 12th and it's 12:03 a.m so let's go ahead i'm going to be setting it up so that i can watch the video from my phone today because i don't have anything transferred i have to do the end clip for I have to film the end clip for the videos, which is because these are press-on nails. The ending clip is the part where I try on my press-ons and model them for you guys. And as you can see, my nails are done. So since I was going to be with my boyfriend, I thought it would be good to go ahead and do my nails because I never get to really wear them. And I figured because I was going to be with him, it would be okay. So I was like, okay. And I got lots of attention, and they got lots of attention. My nails, that is. Hold on, y'all. Okay. I hate when it's dusty. So anyways, um... And I had to pull a life hack moment and just wait for everybody to go to bed and then that way I could actually work because <clears throat> nobody respects my work unfortunately as sad as it may sound it's true and I won't say nobody but okay let me find the videos I'm gonna tell y'all how many videos I got for y'all hold on this is going to be the full set, and this is um, a Jaws Love set. Jaws Love Stilettos. Hold on, y'all. I'm working. Um, so on Monday, let me give y'all the update before we get started. So on Monday, um, 3XL Stilettos, baby. Okay, let's get a little more specific. Anyways, um, on Monday I filmed and I did some organizing because I realized that I wanted to put bling. I don't know if y'all realize, but I haven't done nails like this in over a year, easily. And I realized it was because all my bling and stuff was just in a box and I couldn't really see it. And it was in bags and it was like sorted, but I'm really picky. And so I realized that I needed to go ahead and <laughs> invest into um <laughs> organizing my stuff so I could see it hold on I'm trying to tell you guys how many all right so I have so this is what I have for you guys so that's the first thing that I recorded this week was me sorting out my stuff and it's just um oh I have two video two different um views and everything so that's fun and you guys got to see me like cleaning up my nail room area a little bit 
and I had my nails, I mean my hair done and my makeup done and everything. I was trying out a cat eye look. I don't know if it was a hit or miss. You guys might see it. You can comment and let me know. Um, but that was the first thing I filmed this week. And I was like, I'm about to have the best week ever. I'm about to kill it. I was in high spirits. Everything was good. But then on Tuesday, um, so Monday, unfortunately, ended up being like a cleaning and organizing day, which typically happens on Monday, no matter how much I try to avoid it. Hopefully next Monday that won't happen, but it probably will. <laughs> So anyways, um, so I got to sorting and organizing and I was doing well. On Tuesday, I had an appointment to go check out a co-work space and that way I could finally hopefully get my suite or my office or something like because me and my kids will go and we work at the coffee shop, any coffee shop we could find to work at sometimes and they just don't really understand like how to leave people alone it's like we just want to get out the house a little bit and we don't want anyone to talk to us so just stay in your own lane and we'll stay in ours but no people always want to get in our lane and it's hard for me to work under that circumstance so there's two things that I'm in the middle of doing right now one I'm going to invest into someone to take care of my pets which means that in the mornings they would come like on certain days and they would um, clean up like the floors and the, they would dust like anything that would be involved in pet hair and then mm, um, maybe play with the cats, brush them, whatever stuff like that. That would be their job, and that would help me be able to fo focus on working at home much easier because I wouldn't have to spend time doing that. It would be done for me. I could get them to come and go pretty early in the day, and then I could go on about my day. That's, like, the first one. The second one, which is, like, the more obvious but the more of a bigger commitment, is to just go ahead and get my office space, but there's still going to be travel time involved and there's still going to be other people involved because unfortunately I'm not in a location or at a level where I can really invest into like more of like a penthouse suite and like a sky rise overlooking the ocean where like people are really quiet and calm and relaxed so wish me lucks and prayers and so that was supposed to be Tuesday was supposed to be that I was going to go and view this office space well the lady called and she's like yeah um I'm gonna need to reschedule and I'm like it's Tuesday you could have called me on Monday and let me know you could have called me at 9 a.m we had a one o'clock appointment first off I don't even like doing appointments in the afternoon I like to get my appointments done in the morning but I was really excited. So anyways, it got rescheduled, <clears throat> which was inconvenient for the rest of my week. So that pretty much threw off my week because I was more so mentally anticipating having everything in order so that I could just work from my new office for the week. Didn't happen. Then I ended up having a grocery shop and my kids always try to savage all the food. So I have to meal prep, but I didn't really wasn't really able to do that as much as I wanted and also I've been getting back into exercising which just makes you really want to sleep more and um recently have been like having this renewed health because I began to eat these things that are called ginger juice and they're really good to like Ginger is really good for you. Y'all do y'all own research. But those ginger chews, they don't taste very bad. So you can actually endure. And they're not too harsh. Um, they're not very acidic or anything like that. So you can enjoy them. And you can actually benefit from eating ginger. And so I noticed that my whole body is like cleansed. Like I'm not craving anything. I don't have a taste for things that are bad. I cannot even eat pepperoni pizza because I can take only two bites before it's like, no, this is not what you need to eat. 
um, when I went to work with my boyfriend, he bought us these breakfast sandwiches and they were so good. They were waffles with like syrup in them and then egg, cheese and a sausage. But it was fully processed and it was full empty carbs. Like all of it was empty carbs because I didn't get any energy and I didn't, my stomach did not feel filled. And um, those are the things that I'm able to identify now that I have renewed health. And it's really just a super amazing blessing. I'm super thankful, um, especially because I have been known to suffer from eating disorder. Uh, and you really can't Mm, like if I do things I'm not supposed to just out of like repulsive behavior my body is like Samantha we're not gonna do this I'm gonna win and you're gonna lose so you either gonna take the high road or suffer and I'm like "Mm, you win (laughs) so that's a super huge blessing by the way how do you guys like my glasses this is my second time ever wearing them but my first full day wearing them I hadn't put on contacts today or switched into another pair of glasses they're growing to me so these glasses are tricky because one they're transition lenses but two it's kind of like a okay so I like the fact that they're silver one they're clear but when they transition and they are turning for the sun into the polarized lenses then they're like a dark gray and if you see this frame is black which is really awesome and it really looks good when the lenses are polarized to have that black there but this is silver so when the lenses are polarized I don't like the silver frame (laughs) I like the silver frame when they're not polarized because it, it kind of blends into my face. And because my vision is so bad, you can see how magnified my lenses are. But it's a give. It's a give. Okay. Anyways, so I'm just sitting here watching myself on this video um, that we're not going to be watching. So moving on. I just want to make sure I had it there. So there's that video. So that's one. Okay. Me organizing my nail stuff. Y'all keep count because y'all think I don't be working, but I be working. I do not forget about the goddess gang ever. I was so miserable with my boyfriend. I'm like, I love him to death. I do. <laughs> I'm so happy to be together and I'm very thankful that we're working together and I get to get paid and I get to be with him. Like, you know, but <clears throat> there's about zero things that I would trade for this okay so yeah moving on all right Madam Glam in the cut Lampho in the cut Jaws Love in the cut Nail Reserve LA in the cut and more Madam Glam in the cut okay so that's five videos plus the other one that makes six I got six videos for you guys that means that y'all are gonna see me sitting here voicing over six whole videos okay i wish that i was live right now because you guys could tell me which one i should do first um i know i definitely gotta do madam glenn first i gotta do madam glenn first i love madam glenn so much you guys i am obsessed with madam glenn I just cannot. There's this color. Okay. I'm like, I got two of them. Hold on. Um, you guys are going to see this unboxing. Where's the other one? I just saw it earlier. Um, oh, it must be under here. So, uh, you guys already saw me unbox the King of Glam by Madam Glam. I am uh, so actually, you guys these nails have that on there you can't see it like in the grand scheme but when you see it close up you'll see that it's on there here let me show you guys i don't think it's gonna work listen 
I'm on an iPhone. It's I could film on anything I choose, and this is what I chose. So, and I chose the front cam because that's how bad I am. I need to just hook it up to like a, a monitor. I'm gonna be doing that, but I'm not doing it yet. Anyways, so this is actually a no wipe top coat. So this is a gift and a curse because I was using this like crazy, girl. Every single chance I have gotten, I have used this since I got it. To the point where I said, Samantha, if you love it that much, you better stop using it because you are going to run out, girl. <laughs> okay, that's how I feel about this. And then I bought this one. I mean, I didn't buy it, but I got this one from Madam Glam. Thank you guys so much, Madam Glam, for always sharing the best goodies with Goddess Gang as Scorpion Goddess knows. This one is a luminous, no white top coat. And um, so... They actually wrote it on the bottom, no wipe top coat. And I think they probably did that because people didn't realize that it was actually a top coat and nobody was actually saying that. And that's why I definitely wanted to make sure <clears throat> that I put emphasis on that on this video because um, I felt horrible that I did not actually pay more attention to that. But this is the confetti no wipe top coat. <clears throat> you guys i'm sorry and then this is a note um a confetti no white top coat too this one is luminous so this one's luminous and this one's king of glam the luminous has pastel pink pastel yellow pastel green not really pastel but kind of and a pearl white then they're all like a little pearlescent um, <clears throat> I'm not crazy about this one just because I'm super crazy, super crazy about this one. And this one has more vibrant colors and I'm really into vibrant colors. So that's going to walk us into our video. We're going to go ahead and go first with, let me make sure I, <clears throat> hold on you guys. Oh, okay. Hold on. I just woke up a little while ago. And I know I need to make my coffee, but I'm acting like a brat that don't want to do nothing. I'm going to show y'all something while I got y'all here. So this, <clears throat> this is my little coffee area. Oh, no, wait, right there. <laughs> and I'm going to be, sh right, hold on, right, right there. <laughs> and I'm going to be showing you guys, I haven't filmed like this in a long time, like a, a vlog style filming. I haven't done that in so long, but I actually used to vlog. If you guys would like me to vlog, please let me know. You don't even have to comment. You can just DM me because feedback helps people, okay? Especially as creators. Like, we have so much on our plate. And then over here, <clears throat> move my mic real quick. I got all my plants. Oh, my little babies. Oh, they're so beautiful. Enough of that. I'm going to be saving all of that for the... um. No. saving all of that for the now the now room tour that i'm gonna be filming soon so without further ado thank you guys so much over at madam glam for always 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 showing our channel so much love <laughs> nah i'm just kidding guys <laughs> the nails it's the nails okay showing us so much love over here on our channel we really do appreciate it you guys i do want to let you guys know that I am working hard and we are going to have a brand new blog site debut soon. So stay tuned for that. Um, we're also going to have lots of new stuff. I want to show you guys something really quickly before we <clears throat> move forward. You won't be able to see too well, but you can see good enough. And so here are my brand new sizing kits. I want to tell you guys something because I really pride myself in having transparency on my channel and with that hold on y'all i ain't got enough lip gloss on no, i just use bird's bees this one is one of my favorites the pink grapefruit is one of my favorites um i also like the vanilla one the coconut one coconut pear i like that one a lot uh the strawberry one i don't know it's okay I'm really picky. 
the mango one, I don't really like that one. I like any of them that are greasy. If they're not greasy, I don't like them. I used to be a Carmex girl. That should tell you enough. Okay. Now, um, so these are my new sizing kits. And I want to tell you guys something just on a little side note before I show you guys too much. So, um, I was sitting here thinking, like, I've been wanting to do this for a long time. And I finally got some tips that I feel like I really enjoy making press-ons with. And you guys are going to see that. Okay, hold on. Let me show you guys. I got a lot of stuff going on right now. Oh, and when you guys see these, you're going to know what I mean. Okay. So here is a platter full of press ons that I have created. And um, so I finally found tips that I really like for press ons. And when I put them on, I really enjoy how they wear and everything like that. And even these are with these tips. So essentially, these are press-ons, okay? And with that, I finally have committed to deciding that I will be debuting press-ons as a, um, a facet of my brand. That means that you guys are going to see in time that press-ons will become available on my blog site. And I will have a store, which you guys already know, is the Goddess Gang Shop. I have announced it. I know that June is next month. I'm not 100% sure that it will be opening for sure next month. Because that goes into another thing that I want to talk to you guys about. Um, because I told you guys about how, like, you know, like, my week was going. Like, I was organizing on Monday, and then on Tuesday, my week kind of got thrown off by a change of plans. That not only changed that day, but it changed future days of my week. And then another thing that has really changed my entire life right now is that I was supposed to be spending my summer with my me padre, my dad, and in his home, his new home. And unfortunately, um, he's a jackass how else can i say it and he's a piece of shit <laughs> i'm just kidding that's so mean i shouldn't talk about anyone like that <laughs> that was just a joke scratch that out um editor editor take that part out <laughs> i don't have an editor <laughs> and if i did they would know not to do that um they would be like no we're leaving that in because that's just so you no, but um, it's just that we all have a lot of work to do, and and we're all very much into compounding. Sorry about my bra straps, you guys. Earlier, I didn't wear a bra, and then um, I wasn't going to put this back on because I took it off while I was napping. I shouldn't have told y'all that I didn't wear a bra earlier, but this dress doesn't call for one because it flatters your shape and accentuates your natural body. And, um, so that's why this is super tacky, but I didn't feel like finding, at first I was like, I'll just find something else to wear. And then I was like, girl, you looked cute earlier. Put your clothes back on. And I forgot to do it how I did it earlier. So anyways, um, well, we all have a lot of work to do and this is the season of compounding. So I want to talk to y'all about something before I go. And I should like, um, totally include this in my, um, hold on y'all. Okay, let's say consistency paves the way way to everlasting success don't fall victim to the clout chasing movement. I had to write that down. And today's date is the 12th. Alrighty, so um, I don't really like to talk about certain things because everyone has their own opinions. But, bitch, I got mine, okay? <laughs> I got mine. I'm going to cuss from time to time because I'm just a little ratchet. So, 
don't fall victim to the clout chasing movement. That's all I'm going to say. And what do I mean by that? I mean that consistency really pays off in the end. Um, along my journey, I have been very transparent and I'm in the middle of rebranding my channel. I'm in the middle of rebranding my entire brand. Like, because in the beginning, I kind of just dove into this and I was doing really good. And then things started to speed up a bit and they got a little bit out of control, which wasn't in a bad way, but, um, I just kind of went with it, like, you know, here and there and everywhere. And now I'm more in the perspective of like, mm, I want to have control. I want to have a sure direction and, um, just things like that. So you guys have seen, I have been rebranding and, um, I'm really just focusing on like what my true purpose is. And so, um, that is what I was telling you guys about this. And that is what I'm telling you guys in the big picture about essentially my journey and how I'm welcoming you. So, um, there's always like press on sizing kits that are usually like on a postcard and like, you have to write the numbers and like, you gotta do all this extra stuff. And I was just like, I really want to offer you guys free press ons, like, but I got to give you guys sizing kits. And that is like overhead cost for me on the back end. Like realistically, let's be honest, I don't get paid on YouTube enough to even cash out a paycheck every month. So that's because I need to, you know, rebrand and everything, which is what I'm doing. And so all that is time and money. And it's something that, um, you know, like I don't get paid first. I get paid last actually like way last um and i was thinking how can i offer you guys a sizing kit without any overhead cost to me so i was able to use everything that i had right within the vicinity of my workspace to create these and i have 16 different sizing kits that you guys will all be able to have um, well, obviously not all of you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Shouldn't say that. You guys might take me literal, right? Uh, but that y'all <laughs> will be able to um, have. And these, I do want to create a little movement. So I'm going to tell you guys because I want to let you guys know some of my ideas before I debut them because that's how much I got. I love you guys. So we're going to do the sisterhood of the traveling size, size guides, traveling size, sizing guide. All right. So, and then you obviously put no return address. All right. Now, and then, okay, perfect. So this is how it's going to work. I have 16. Hold on, you guys. This video is long. <laughs> Let me restart it. All right, you guys. And you guys are going to have to hang out with me. This is a chit chat video. I'm saying that a little late into the video. So um, it is what it is. I'll have to <laughs> record an intro maybe. I don't know. But all right. So this is how it's going to work. I have 16 <coughs> of these. I have... Um, Okay, yes, I have, hold on, y'all, let me just make sure I got them in order, I didn't organize them, oh yes, okay, I have five of the medium stilettos, medium stilettos, and I have five of the short squares, and I have three of the 3XL stilettos, and then I'm going to have three. I haven't sorted them out yet. But I'm also going to have three of the 3XL squares, which are these, okay? So that's how that's going to work. So there's going to be 16. Now, there is going to be, um, like, so these are all going to be free to you guys. And the way that it works is that I just put one size of each tip in the bag. 
If you don't have good vision or if the tips are hard to read the numbers, this can be challenging for you. If that's the case and you still want to participate, just let me know because um, I will just write the numbers on them for you if that's the case. Um, because like not on, on the shorter ones, it's easier to see, but sometimes on like the long stiletto nails, um, they are a little harder to see. But for the most part, I did go ahead and look at them and I thought that it was pretty easy to see the numbers. So uh, whenever you receive your sizing guide, then you would just whenever you push the nail on, you don't want to really push it. You kind of just want to like more or less like just fit it a little and make sure that it reaches side wall to side wall. And if it does and it looks like it fits your nail well, nail well, then that's likely your size. Keep in mind that you don't if you press it down and it's tight and you get a tight fit when you size it then whenever I put the products onto the nail and I cure them and things like that they don't really because they're soft gel nails they don't necessarily shrink but they do they could let's just put it like that they could size down a little that doesn't mean you should size up at all it just means that you definitely do not want to size down because then you'll have press-ons that you'll have to like squeeze onto your natural nails and then they'll pop on they'll pop off pretty easily because they won't have a proper fit so that's how the sizing works and so once you know your sizes um then you'll go ahead and i will have it set up to where i believe that these are going to come with a qr code and you'll scan the qr code and it'll take you straight over to my blog site where you'll have a form to fill out where you'll include your information um, for your sizing and everything like that and so that's how that's going to work now there is something that i want to introduce that's going to be called the sisterhood of the traveling size i'm going to say traveling size guide traveling size guide and um that is where it would probably benefit everybody including the environment if these didn't just go these tips didn't just go straight into the trash um so of course if you receive the tips and you think hey i want to create my own little you know set with these real quick for like display or for just to try the tips or anything like that <clears throat> Um, like if you are a DIY girl and you're just, you just want some of my press-ons, um, then you're totally free to do that. However, if you receive a size guide or a sizing kit, oh, okay, I think that's what it's supposed to be, sisterhood of the traveling <clears throat> sizing kit, that sounds better, that's what it was, all right, now if you receive a sizing kit, and you really just want to be helpful by putting it back into an envelope and sending it return to sender, then you can participate in the um, traveling, the sisterhood of the traveling sizing kit. And what that will mean is that <coughs> um, when you do the return to sender, uh, it will go to my office and then my office will go ahead and send it out to the next person who will go ahead and utilize the sizing kit. And that is the sisterhood of the traveling sizing kit. And when you participate in that, then I'm going to probably create like a sticker and maybe like probably like. I don't know what I'll create, but I'll create some kind of like little perk or whatever. But when you participate in that, essentially, um, again, you'll have another QR code and it will like it'll probably be a QR code on your actual envelope. And you'll go ahead and scan that code if you're participating. And then um, once you do that, then you will go ahead and fill in your information so that I can know that I need to send you a sisterhood 
gift or whatever it will be called and it will essentially be a sticker that will be like you know that you participate in the sisterhood of the traveling size kit and everything like that all these ideas are original they're all my own so if you guys see them anywhere else after the publishing of this video then it is fraud and it is fake and it is stolen okay um i'm really just working on branding myself and um, give you guys things that you know are personable to me that we can all create um, a network and a sisterhood or a goddess gang and things like that. So I just wanted to tell you guys some of the ideas that I had to let you guys know like some of the interactive opportunities that will be available. Girl, if you don't stop forgetting that you can't do that to your hair when you got when you got your nails done, girl. All right, you guys, so without further ado, we're about to get straight into the video. And I'm trying to decide if I want to make myself some coffee, but I'm thinking I might want to do a little mukbang moment. I don't know, but I'll be back in un momento. <laughs> 